What's up guys, it's Ben Chaz, and welcome back to Game of Thrones, Episode 3, The Sword in the Darkness. In the last episode, well, where, where do I begin? Roderick is having the absolute worst luck possible with the house. Mira doesn't know what to do with everything that's been going on now that King Joffrey's been killed. Tyrion has been accused and now she's trying to figure out how she can stay innocent and still deal with this murder. And we've also got some things with Garrett going on at the wall. So I think we're going to find out a little bit more about that today in this episode. So let's hop right back into it and just see what interesting adventures and dramas hold for us in this one. Let's get started. And I'm judging that too because I don't know how much further or how much more is left in this episode. So this could be the finale. This couldn't be. I don't know. We'll see. But I'm curious to see what's going to happen. Because I believe we're headed back to the wall on this episode. So we're going to take a quick look. See what our buddy Jon Snow is up to. And all that good jazz. Good old Jon Snow. Wendell. Pack the extra rations. Duff, make sure the quivers are full and the torches are dry. Garrod. That's me. What's happening? We're heading north of the wall to deliver justice to brothers turned traitor. They're hiding in the woods at a place called Craster's Keep. I've been looking for volunteers. The cowards murdered Commander Mormon. We're going to kill every one of them. I volunteer. I'll volunteer to go. I thank you for that. I need every sword I can get. But Brit's going to. He took his vows uh. on the set. He's a brother now. I know there's bad blood between you two. That could jeopardize the mission. Too many unknowns out there. I can't have my own men killing each other. I'm a ranger now. I've left my past behind me. Brit included. Until you're standing next to him with a sword in your hand. That's the real test. Oh, this is gonna be hard, man. He, he if had... you do come, I need to know there won't be any trouble. Even if he provokes you. And no more talk of the North Grove, either. Can I count on you? I need your word, Garrett. I'll be taking I won't let you down. I'm a man of my word. I won't disappoint you. I'll hold you to that. It's a hard road to Crestus. We leave tomorrow at first light. Now why don't you go talk to those two? They volunteered as well. Make sure they're ready. Dorf! Where are my arrows? Well, what did Jon Snow say? I don't think he likes us much. Definitely doesn't like you, Finn. Haven't we heard need him to work together. Praises, he? he wants to see us work together. No more problems. That's on you. Point is, he doesn't want any problems with either of you on this Craster's mission. Well, there's something you should know then. <laughs> I, uh. Oh, don't do it. This from you. <laughs> what? Oh, okay. I thought he was going to talk about the knife. I wanted to know why your uncle was here. It never ends with you. Well, I didn't mean no harm, honest. I just wanted a quick look. It wasn't stealing. You Just can't ask me that, next. Cotter. Next time, ask. Well, I did try. And you, you just said your uncle was here about Ironwood. But I think it was something else. I noticed this part here. North Grove? That's just some shit story for little kids. A rumor. No, it's not. Of course it is. I heard it's a witch's den where they turn children into giants. Garrett, you don't actually take it seriously, do you? It's a fairy tale. For idiots. Everyone knows that. Didn't think you were that gullible. It can save Lord my house. Lord knew all about it. He said it's a place of great power. Power that could save my house. And this says it's somewhere in the north. On the other side of the wall. And here I thought you might have some brains, Garrett. You two deserve each other. Have fun chasing your tails. Good. Didn't need him anyway. What do you mean? 
doesn't know about the mammoths. Or white walkers. Or how to sneak past a giant. What, and you do? Do you know? It's the things you hear about. The rumors is all. I wouldn't know myself. You're hiding something. Rumors my ass. You're hiding something, Cotter. I'm not. They're just things I hear around Castle Blacksall. People talk, you know. He knows something. Not about the North Grove they don't. What do you do? Probably heard you talking about him. Or, or maybe one of the recruits. Stop lying to me, man. Just say Cotter. something. I know you're lying. I covered for you. You owe me. This is All true. Right. right. All right, spill it. Give me the goods. I want to know. I've been on the other side of the wall, got it. You see, I, I live there. In the north. I'm part of the free folk. People round here call wildlings. Wildlings? I know. I know it's crazy. I, I was with some other free folk. We were looking for weapons south of the wall. We got caught. So, so I passed myself off as a local and, well, they sentenced me here to Castle Black for steel. I shouldn't be here. This isn't my place. Are you You're putting kidding. me on, Cotter? I wouldn't joke about that. They'd kill me if they found out. Are we... We still friends? I mean... I know it's a lot to take in. And I'd understand if you were angry. You could be useful. You're a wildling. Didn't you know your way around north of the wall? Aye. More than anyone round here. Could come in handy then. Cotter! What did I say? That shit house you fixed is still leaking. I'll be right there. I'm going back home. No matter what, Garrett. I've heard stories. Old tales of a secret forest within a forest. Your lord knew what he was talking about. You know where the North Grove is? No. But I'll help you find it. I'm deserting anyway. Heading back home. I can guide you. Keep you alive. Stick with me and I'll show you the way. Plenty of things out there when I kill you. Why would you help understand. me? Why would you want to help me? The North Grove has nothing to do with you. I've got my own reasons for going. Cut her! Now! Uh, on the way! Please, don't tell anyone about me. The watch would kill me if they found out. Hmm. It's like I'm starting to realize this story is just a big mixture of I know something you don't know. That's what I'm getting from everything here. It's like everybody's got a secret and it's whether or not they want to share it with you is the real thing. Alright, where are we now? Marine still smells ah, like we're back shit, with Asher. Even outside the walls. We'll find Croft here somewhere. Yeah. <sighs> You're right. Never better. <laughs> Back under the Mad King, they used to say death by sword was a sweet kiss, but fire would fuck you hard. Funny. No. No, not very. I'll go find Croft's tent. Asher, I need you to tell me the truth. I've come a long way to bring you home. Right. Back in that cave, you made a choice. You must have thought only one of us was going to survive. Now, it's not a fair question to ask, but I need to know. I've been fighting side by side with Beska for four years. She has saved my life more times than I care to admit. I owe her. Thank you for being honest. But she's not family. <sighs> Look, Look. Family off banished me, so... I can't me, blame so. you if your feelings about me are conflicted. Or your feelings about going home. Your family exiled you to this place. But I swore an oath to your mother. Sailed halfway around the world to bring you back safe. And I'd be damned if some dragon fire or your foul decisions are going to stop me. 
Are we clear? I'm here to help you. To protect you. I'm, I'm sorry, sorry, Malcolm. I did you wrong. Well, it's good of you to say so. But words are wind, Asher. It's choices that define who you are. Asher, I know where Croft is. Oh, all right. This Croft, how well do you know him? Too well. I thought you said you were friends. Yeah, we are. We are. Great friends. Somehow I feel like that's not- Master fucking <laughs> Forrester. Son of a poxy whore. You have some balls walking into my tent after all these years with that mama's monkey grin on your face. Hey, I think I have a nice smile. Well, that went well. I probably deserve right. that. Maybe I deserve that. That's not even a taste of what you deserve. You never understood consequences, Asher. One stupid mistake cost me an eye. But you never learn. You figured you'd steal from me and I'd just forgive you? <laughs> not a fucking chance. So how are you going to pay me back? Your eye? Your hand? Or how about your tongue? Croft, no! Be reasonable! I am reasonable! I'm letting him fucking Well, my choose. hair could use a cut. My hair could use a trim. Take some off the top, would you? Do not fucking test me! Croft, I deserve your anger as much as Asha. Don't worry, Beshka. You're next. Now choose. Or I slice off your balls, Asha. Hey, a hey, man hey! betrays my trust. There's a price to uh... Go! Enough! Fuck you, Croft! Have it your way. You didn't need your testicles anyway. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Oh, that was bloody beautiful. Fucking Asher. You were pale as a oh. snow bear's ass. Oh. <laughs> are, you, are you fucking joking? You bloody bastard. <laughs> this is why people steal your shit and take off in the night. Come on, you assholes. Have a drink. <laughs> I seriously thought I was going to lose Jonah, my balls. Oh my god. Your friend has an interesting sense of humor. So Tell what me about seven hours are you two doing here on the arse end of the earth, eh? You're a long way from young guy. We have a proposition for you. You're really? one of the best fighters yeah, I know. Hardly the usual rabble these two travel with. Your sword was always the quickest, to Croft. I need you and your men to fight for me in Westeros. We need your hellhounds. A hundred good men. Am I in a hobby's tip? Would I ever go back to Westeros? I've got it good right here. Her grace pays good coin. I've got wine! Women! I've uh, got my own tent! My family is in danger? You don't join me, my family will die. I'm here because I need you, Croft. Oh, shit. I don't even know your fucking family, and you're breaking my heart. I swear by the warrior, I'd help you if I could, but it's not up to me. Well, who's it up to? Second sons are sworn to Daenerys Targaryen. <gasps> I've laid my sword at her feet. For now. Perhaps we could talk to her. She's a little busy right now, commanding a fucking siege. Her enemies are nailing children up on posts for a hundred miles, and a bloody dragon's gone missing. <laughs> but I know where to find her dragon. <laughs> Unfucking likely. You expect me to believe you just happened to have seen the one fucking dragon loose in the world? It has black Black's scales all over, with a red frill running down his back. That doesn't prove anything. Enough of this nonsense. Ah. We're done here, Asher. Dragon tooth. proof, you old fuck. Tell me what this is, if not a bloody dragon tooth. Ah, I wouldn't know a dragon tooth from a basilisk dick. Croft. I've seen her dragon. <sighs> oh, bugger me with a bloody spear. If you're lying about this, it'll cost more than your balls. Fair yeah. enough. Definitely don't Come want to lose on, those. Son of a bitch. The beast's name is Drogon. You'll want to hear about him right away. And don't think you're going to charm her with that fucking Asher grin. Ah, come on. I get to meet Darius Targaryen? Ah! That's my favorite character in the show! I'm excited right now. Really am.
No! Oh, we're back on the wall. I want to meet Turkey. Ah! Okay. All right. Got a lot to focus on Big here. Big day tomorrow, isn't it? Off to Craster's Keep. Assuming you're not too busy looking for your North Grove. I thought you didn't believe in it. Not saying I do. But if it was real, can you trust Cotter with it? You ask me. There's just something off about him. Aside from him being an oily thief, I mean. Like he's holding something back. Cotter's I trust not a bad him. sort. I trust him. Even after he tried stealing your map. Do as you like. But if we're going out there tomorrow. In the middle of fucking nowhere. I'd want to know who I can trust. Finn, get back on watch until your relief arrives. They're late. You think Mance Raider is going to wait for them? Right. Asshole. <laughs> trouble. You've got torches that have gone out. Keep them lit. Let the wildlings know we're still home. <sighs> So much on, like, Garrett's plate right now. This torch looks pretty good. Yeah, this one's still good. <laughs> yeah, the <laughs> the burning flame on it was probably my first... My first instinct. Like, yeah, this one's alright. There we go. Let's light this one. That's ironwood for sure. We make the best stuff. Let's see. Spears. Let's see. Lighten them up. There we go. Let's take a look at the lift. Oh, missed one. I think I got all of them. Support beams. Nothing of interest. The ice wall. Pig farmer. You mother... A 300 mile wall. And you're still in my way. I figured we'd settle things on the way to Crasters. This is even better. Just stay out of my way. For you anymore, Brett. I hate you. You hate me. Now let's move on. Right. Gary the Merciful, sparing the lives of everyone who does him wrong. I did duty to my lord back on that bloody farm. If for doing a proper job of it, what I get? Banished to the fucking wall. Hey. I lit those. I never did tell you about your father, did I? Oh, no, you... We bled him at first, like a pig. Seemed only fear he should feel what it's like. Near the end, he could barely breathe. Kept begging us to leave your sister alone. So I made sure he was still alive when she started screaming. It was the last thing your father ever heard. The more we sliced, the worse it got. Shrieking the whole time. You're not worth it. You're not worth it. I didn't come here to chat, you fucking cunt. Whoa. Too bad your father didn't fight like that. I'd still be alive. And I thought you were going to make this easy. Finally I don't want to fight you. Bit, Stop, dummy! I don't want to fight you! What's the matter? Don't you want to make your father proud? Whoa. I don't want to get in trouble. See, That's why I don't want to fight you. Ah, uh, sprinkle the buttons. Uh, 
You got lucky, pig farmer. You didn't kill my man back at your farm. At least let me have my sword. Keep it interesting. Or are you afraid? I can't kill my vows. I won't kill a brother. You're fucking pathetic, Tuttle. Oh no! Oh, I'm gonna bite your fingers off. Oh man, I should have put those away. You want more? You want more? Huh? Oh. It's not what it looks like. It's not what it. Oh man! It was either him or me. I didn't want to die. He made the first move, right? Crap! <laughs> Crap! Crap! <laughs> I seriously didn't want any beef with him. My lord, our people are starving and afraid. The White Hills have driven them away from the Ironwood Groves. But I think now is a good stopping point. Because just... <laughs> no. It seems like everything that I'm doing now is ending up with someone either being killed, slaughtered, or whatever. And I just gotta pay the piper. It's probably what's gonna happen. Like, I, got, I killed someone with Mira, and now I killed someone with Garrett. Completely not wanting to, but I had to do it in order to save my life. So basically, I'm screwed either way. Like, the only people that I have right now who haven't killed anybody is Roderick and Asher. I mean, Asher's killed people. Well, no, Asher killed that, that guard at the beginning of the story. So the only guy who hasn't murdered is Roderick. So I don't know what to do, guys. <laughs> oh, man. I think we might have one more episode before the finale, but we'll see. So, until next time, guys, this was Game of Thrones, Episode 3, The Sword in the Darkness. I've been Benchez. Don't forget to do all the stuff like favorite, share, and subscribe if you'd like. And I'll see all you beautiful people in the next one. I love all your faces. See you next time. <laughs>